let's say someone has a wandering eye, they're in a marriage, they would go onto Ashley Madison, and this is a site that says, we can make an affair possible. Now this has always been a controversial site, but about a month ago, hackers said that they'd hacked into the site, they had the data, and that they were gonna put it out there if Ashley Madison didn't shut down. Well, Ashley Madison didn't shut down. Fast forward a month later, huge, huge data dump. We're talking something like 10 gigabytes of personal information, emails, phone numbers, usernames. So now you have a bunch of sites where all you have to do is put in an email address and you can find out if someone was on that list. Now, we can't independently confirm that these emails are actually legitimate. You have to remember that. But it started a huge backlash. A couple days later, there's another huge data dump. This one is nearly twice the size of the first one. And while the first one had a mass amount of personal customer information, this one has a mass amount of company information. We're talking internal documents, CEO's emails. We're also looking at source code. Think of the source code as almost a blueprint of AshleyMadison.com. Any hacker can look at that source code and decide they want to hack Ashley Madison. One security researcher told me that we are watching the destruction of a company. This is a huge black eye for Ashley Madison, which really sold itself on being 100% discreet. Right now, as people are pouring over millions and millions of email addresses, trying to figure out who's on here, who's legit, spouses are looking on there. I guarantee you all around the world, there are some hard questions. Ashley Madison is still up and running. Probably not gonna get a lot of business. <laughs>